Hey guys, meet Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Still locked into the spring pattern, but looking at two storm systems for the West between 414 and 419. First one rolls through, kind of sets the stage. The second one will rotate in from the north with colder air, bringing more widespread snow. So we'll look at that coming up. But here's the timing for the Wasatch Tetons, Colorado, and the Sierra, for example. In the Wasatch, I'm forecasting moderate to heavy snow accumulation. 415 through the morning of 419. In Colorado, moderate to heavy snow accumulation, 415 and 16, and then heavy again with that second storm on 419. And looking at higher snow levels, I talked about this the last couple of days. The uh, prime example is the Sierra when this storm finally hits there. I mean, some of the rain snow lines are going to start at like eight or 9,000 feet and then progressively drop during the, uh, the storm system. But that's what happens this time of the year. Okay, let me just show you what the jet's going to look like here. Close of business today, high pressure ridging across the west, but you can see the next storm system rotating down out of the Pacific Northwest. So here we go by Friday late in the day, hits California 13, moves into the interior 14, 15, and then that moves away, but look at the northern branch buckle. Second storm comes in, rotates south out of Canada with northern branch support, colder air 418, Rotates through uh, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and it keeps just kind of trucking. That's 420 and it's still in place. Looking at the precip here, so there's your forecast radar and satellite by 530 today. Beautiful across most of the Intermountain West. Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, everybody looking good and very warm. Okay, now by 413 it hits uh, California. And you can see that. And then it starts to break loose, moves into the interior, Utah. Wyoming, Colorado, but the second storm is what's more impressive. Look at it rotating in there on 417, 418, and even 419. It's still there through Colorado. It looks like it may end to snow across Denver in the Front Range. And even by 420, I mean, we're still looking at kind of a dirty flow over the, uh, the Intermountain West. Okay, let's look at the latest numbers. So here's my grand total map. By late 420, uh, I've got much bigger numbers today versus yesterday for the Wasatch, looking at probably 10 to 20 inches um, if this uh, track holds. Four to eight up in the Tetons, about a foot for Big Sky, maybe a lot more for Red Lodge and Hogadon because of that storm system. It kind of pivots right over the top of both places, so the snow trains over the same areas. Uh, Central and Northern Mountains of Colorado looking at six to 14 inches. And in the Sierra, again, if you're above 75, 8,000, 8,500 feet, you're going to have much bigger numbers. Um, these are just mid-mountain numbers. So um, up in parts of interior BC, I like the way sunshine looks in this update. And Marmot Basin, 8 to 17 inches of accumulation. All right, let me break it down by time period. So today through tomorrow, not much happening. Very dry. Everything's up in BC. Second time period is 413 to 415. The storm hits California, starts to uh, throw some light snow into the interior. Here's the big period though. This is 416 through 420. This is when we pick up the bulk of the accumulation in Wyoming, Colorado, the Wasatch, and most of Montana, and potentially 4 to 10 during this time period through the Banff area. Okay, let's go to the northeast. One last stop. Again, spring conditions, rain showers the next two or three days. Potentially some very light snow at the tail end of this time period, but otherwise it's just definitely a spring pattern across a lot of the country. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, mountain weather update this morning. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.